This programme contains very strong language, aggressive and violent behaviour and sexual scenes and references from the beginning and throughout. Jolly Show, Nathan, look like a turkey. I'm trying to get asleep, but I can't because Aaron's rubbling on about turkey. What the fuck's going on about? Tonight has been a lot to take in. Marnie's been upset and I'm normally the one that would comfort her and I couldn't be there for her. I start picking on Nathan and taking it all out on him. I know I shouldn't be doing it, but my frustration has been building up all night. The fact you're a man, doing Me and Aaron are always bantering each other and taking the piss, but this isn't funny. He's obviously frustrated with Casey and Marnie. Remember who your friends are, you know I say I think it's personal. Look at all the friends are. Aaron, stop this now. This is so childish. Yeah, everyone, says, everyone says that, do that, do that. If Aaron wants to be a little bitch, I'll be a little bitch too. See how you like this. What did you say to me about Mons? I love her. This has been building up inside of Aaron, and now that he's had a drink, the truth has all came out. He does delight Marnie. You want to be with her? So why the fuck you eat girlfriend then? Casey's next door with Marnie in bed. Nathan's talking about my relationship, and I've just lost the fucking plot. Whoa, Aaron has just gone for Nathan. This is way out of hand. All I know, I've made one silly comment, and Aaron is on top of us, pinning us to the bed. It's all kicking off. The boys are scrapping with each other. Joel's getting involved. I'm getting involved. Chloe's getting involved. <laughs> It's all got too much and I've massively overstepped them all. I've taken myself to the shag pad to calm down for the night. I'm really surprised at the way Aaron's gone on tonight. It's not okay to do that to one of your friends. I've clearly hit a nerve by talking about his feelings for Marnie. I'm gonna have to speak to him in the morning. 